zweiten Tag am Open Air St. Gallen Hack gestartet und wir machen weiter mit dem nächsten Inti und zwar mit der Buben von Refuse. Hallo zusammen, herzlich willkommen in der Schweiz. Hi guys, uh, welcome to Switzerland, obviously. Did you just arrive today? Yes. Okay, cool. No, yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday? Yes. Were, did you, were you around the festival here? Or? Uh, no, we were, uh, we I walked around St. Gallen yeah. and uh, had some uh, nice sightseeing, yeah. Because cool. I was going to say, you look very clean for that. that you I <laughs> wanted to go to the Volksbad. Volksbad. Yeah, it's. I think they have the oldest uh, like bathhouse okay. in Europe. Yeah, cool. But I didn't find it. Well, because I have I'm no <laughs> sense of direction. Me neither. So I'm sorry, but I can't help you out on that one. It's a bummer. <laughs> no, it's a bummer. But are you uh, motivated today for playing and everything? You good? Yes. Yes, cool. we're always motivated for playing. Good. Yes. That, that's that, that's a good advantage of a yeah. band then if you make it. The whole day sort of loses its point if you don't play. Oh really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why? What do you do? Like, um, what's what do you do in a day when you're not playing? What what's what do you do? When we're on tour. Or yeah. Yeah. What's what's what, like the day? He goes to record stores. I go to bookstores. Cool. Yeah. That's that's a good time to to spend. While and he not drinks playing. soda, mm -hmm. and I drink beer. I'm with I'm on the beer with you on yeah. that one. Records and beer, good combination. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And um, but you guys, uh, you're back uh, together after a short uh, after a break now. So how's it um, being back on tour together and everything? How's it's life? It's fantastic. Cool. Uh, I mean, we uh, we did a tour in 2012. Yeah. And then we pretended to break up again because mm -hmm. we wanted to write a new record and we we didn't want people to know about yeah. it. So we actually did like a whole like. Oh, this is the last show. Goodbye, kind everybody. Of a fake, we faked it, mm -hmm. and then because uh, we were writing new music and we we're recording a new record, and we didn't want people to come up to us when we're out at the bar and be like, "Your new record should sound like this." So mm -hmm. we just, which a lot of people will do in our hometown. Yeah, yeah, they will. So we we just lied and uh, faked our way through it, and then yeah, we put out a record a year ago, and now we've been touring uh, for the past exactly, year, and yeah. it's been. Good times. So is, is, is that how, how does that make you feel when like people from your hometown come up to you and tell you how you should do your music? I mean, it's uh, it's unbelievably annoying, but at the same <laughs> time, it's flattering that yeah. people are like engaged, and also it says something about what we do because I guess we're an eclectic band, so we yeah. can go in different directions. So people are like, you should really go more to that, and the, you know. Mm -hmm. like, but it's it's always nice when. People, anytime people are passionate about music, is mm -hmm. it's a good thing. I mean, they're, they're invested in in what we do, and that's yeah. why they, you know, they want to have a little bit of part a, of it. Yeah, part of it. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of bands, you know, dream of that or would mm -hmm. love that that people really care. So yeah. it's cool. It. No. <laughs> but of course, we're yeah, we're we're spoiled it. bastards. <laughs> Whose who's opinion do you listen to? Whose opinion do you val value? Just our own opinion, I think. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we really care. Yeah. I mean, I, it's different from everyone. I don't really care what anyone thinks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't think I ever have. It's been a. I think it's been a problem in my life. <laughs> yes, yes, it yeah, has been. But I, I think we listen as far as like when it comes to what we do as refused. I think yeah. the 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 best the the experts on refused. That's us. Uh, that's you guys. So, I mean, when we do it. stuff and. I think we listen to each other, and when someone brings up a new idea, and someone says, "Yeah, maybe that sounds not that great," we're like, oh, "Okay." So it's I yeah. think within the band we listen to each other, but outside the band, I think we're pretty. Uh, yeah, we don't really care that much. But it's like uh, we're uh, we're all uh, musicians to the bone. I mean, yeah. during all the years Refuse weren't around, we were all doing different projects the whole time. We've all been living off of it for yes. forever. But uh, so we're perceptive dudes I think um, but it's important to uh, if someone says something it you don't necessarily listen to specifically what they say but you you understand that them saying something means something yeah, so it's, it's an also an appreciation yeah. Um, yeah. of you and your music obviously yeah. it's not always an appreciation of what people say but no, sometimes they say it's shit, and, and that can be amusing as well. <laughs> what do you do when somebody just comes up to you and say, you're, you're shit? Well, one of our best friends really, like, he constantly tells us we're shit. He only <laughs> thinks our it, first... Seriously? Like, yeah, 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 okay, he only okay. thinks our first cassette demo is good. But I think that's just a good for a band to be, oh, like, to not have people, like, kissing their asses all the time. Like, yeah. a lot of people I hang out with are not very interested in our band, and I don't hang out with them because I want them to like no. what I do, you no. know what I mean? 
no. It doesn't yeah. matter. But obviously you have a lot of um, people listening to you um, uh, on the CDs and also live, obviously. And your live um, shows are very, very powerful and very strong. And Thank you. You lose your shit on stage <laughs> sometimes, um, people say like that. How is it? How, how do you... Um, um, how are you able to always have this uh, strength and physic physically and mentally to just <laughs> go on stage? Because I mean, you're doing it every single day and you're absolutely mental honestly, sometimes. How do you do that? Honestly, I think we come from, I mean, we're working class mm -hmm. and our parents work very, very hard and their parents work very, very hard. And we chose this strange path that none of them quite understand. And I think we just have the the work ethic of like potato farmers or something really <laughs> i mean it's, I, it's honestly it's a that's, really good comparison yeah yeah they good. they work their asses off yeah. and and we're just like them but we yeah. play punk rock yeah. it's really the only How, however though about the physical and mental health i'm not sure that it's up to par all the time <laughs> it, it can be a bit i mean Especially the way, I mean, because I sing and David plays drums, mm -hmm. it's very physical. Yeah. And, but, but I think it's also we're inherent. We're both on painkillers. Yes, we are. Most of the on time the we're on touring. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's not really good, is it? Well, uh, you know, we're not that young anymore. And I think we have, we have a lot of, uh, I mean, we don't care what people think, but we have a lot of shit to prove to ourselves. Yeah. So I think when we go up on stage, we want to prove to ourselves that we belong on stage. And we don't want to slow down oh yeah. we're a bit older it doesn't really work that way um but yeah and I, I mean there's something inherently in the music that's very extrovert and violent and i've had nights when i've been like oh my back hurts my body hurts i'm sick and then we start playing and i forget about yeah. it and it's, and i just, just i'm just all of a sudden i'm out in the crowd or i'm yeah. i'm jumping up from some amp and it's just it's just something in the music that yeah. that makes that happen yeah, yeah it's not really premeditated it just happens right yeah. there and then we feel the same that the people who like us and who go crazy we f it's the same thing that makes them go that makes us go yeah i think yeah and um, you said that you um, want to prove something to yourselves when you're on stage when are you content with your when are you happy or acceptable with yourself we're northern after? swedes we're uh, never content never, with ourselves never content. <laughs> all right that's it yeah. But what, what's like? Do you don't you ever get off stage and say that was a really good show? I'm, yeah, I'm happy yeah, with no, no, okay. no, absolutely, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I'm, I'm but you're only as good as your last show, you know. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're doing another one the next day, so. So you just have to stay on top. Yeah. yeah that's it. You um, you guys are very uh, vocal in your music and also with with your own opinion, like um, socially and politically. Yes. And there's uh, been a discussion going on through the music music world for a, for a few more weeks, months now, after um, a lot of things have happened all around the world, with people saying that artists should um, always express their opinions, but not a lot do so. What do you think about that, that, pe that, not, that, they don't, that some people don't? I don't express? know, I think there's, uh, I think probably the, there's a lot of artists that really shouldn't just express their opinions yeah. because they don't know shit. Yeah. Um, so I don't think there's, I think, Generally, um, there is a. I this is just me, but yeah. I, I I I work hard to find good journalism. Yeah. To find it good. It is hard uh, to find good journalism. Yeah, sometimes. and I I work very hard to to really get a grip on certain things that are going on. And you're mm -hmm. you're told, you know, there's starvation in Venezuela, and then you talk with Venezuelans who have families mm -hmm. there and. Uh, and they're like, no, they're, it's you know, it's the same as it ever was. They're trying to paint it black, trying to yeah. make it into something it's not for political reasons, and you know, it's it's very hard to know anything about what's going on really. And it, and it's also artists work very hard, and it and it's a really tough job to just understand what's going on in Syria right yeah. now, and what the political ramifications of of different you know. Uh, uh, actions and you know America's role and Putin's role and and you know it's not easy to stay on top of that stuff so I really don't think that we should listen to um, academics we should listen to intellectuals yeah. and we don't and that's sad that's what I think yeah I think that we'd rather listen to like fucking like Kanye or someone when there's fucking you know people who actually know shit yeah. out there and they can't get in the paper you know yeah definitely. well I think it's we grew up on punk rock and and there's this like very simple idea that if you have something to say say, say it. it yeah but 
also we grew up and and because of punk rock we started reading books and mm -hmm. reading magazines and yeah. educating ourselves about the world and I mean the sad truth is that most musicians on this bill they don't know anything I mean their interviews are boring because they got nothing to say and yeah. they 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 just play music and which is fine it's okay in that I think it's fine yeah. but because I think it's it's sometimes it's unfair on um, on artists and to be like oh you have to take a stand you have yeah. to talk about politics I mean it's sad because some things are very easy to say like yeah. yes we should open our borders for immigrants we should yeah. take care of each other everyone should be able to say that yeah. but as David said I mean there's a lot of political uh, I mean the, the political structures and mm -hmm. everything goes on a lot of people are not they don't really know what's no. going on and no. that therefore maybe it's better if they they should not try to be yeah. intellectual Definitely, about it. Yeah. We can only speak for ourselves and mm -hmm. and like there's a song on the record that we put out called uh, France Afrique or Frank Afrique depending on and at the time when we wrote that I mean I, I don't know I think I'd read maybe seven or eight books on yeah. the Congo and the okay. Central African Republic like we wouldn't write no, about stuff yeah, that we exactly. didn't yeah. feel that we really, really yeah. understood. Partly because you know that yeah. people are gonna confront you and, and, yeah. and want to talk about it. And and but I think mainly the reason is that you you write such a song when you've read seven yeah. books about it. Yeah, you have it, to. It goes the other way around, yeah. you know. You so don't, you don't write a song like that just because. You know, you don't write a song like that just because. Oh, I want to write a song about yeah. Congo and like, That's what do you know about do, Congo? Yeah. Oh, nothing. No. But I'll write it because it sounds cool. So I mean, we try to be well informed, and we try to be educated and, and educate ourselves. And I mean, we're also a very different band. I mean, we see ourselves as a very intellectual type of band. I mean, we don't see ourselves as a normal sort of entertainment yeah. act, you know? Yeah, definitely. Cool. Well, you're a you're a very intellectual band with very um, intellectual and lovely music to listen to. And when I'm really looking forward to listening uh, to it this afternoon. Thank but you. We have to stuff. I have to let you go, guys. <laughs> so thank you very much for this the interview. very nice. And it was thank you for interviewing thank us. You. And thank you. Yeah, have a good afternoon. You thank too. You. Cool. <laughs>